Hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today we're going to be talking again, okay, I made a video six months ago about me talking about, about this kid called Alejandro, which I solved it in a real, and I solved that problem in a really, um, a really cyberbullying way, okay, I saw, I didn't cyberbullying him, they cyberbullied me, I... There's a kid in my class called Zach, okay? And like a year ago. Not anymore. Fuck's sake. He was in my class. He thinks he's. Okay, look. I want to punch him in the face. Because look, I'm gonna tell you the whole fucking story. So, uh, a couple of weeks. Well, a couple. Of, when I was. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell you about. In those times. Weeks ago. I was like in the. I was, in a, I was gonna go shopping. Okay, I was gonna go shopping in the park. Sorry, going shopping to some, like, place next to the park. And I was going to buy myself some Filipinos, some sweets, some snacks, whatever. Come back. That comes up to me. What happened? He's complaining. Okay, he was complaining with me. Because a couple of days ago, or months ago, I put in a, in a desk. I put on a, a there's like an application where a teacher gives us to do projects and stuff. And you can write whatever you want. I put, I'm sick and tired of all you bitches. You all are troublemakers. And now, that was months ago, so he comes up to me with a group of bitches that are probably like pussies are scared. That's what he going in groups, not one. I mean, I was on my own. And uh, he started to say, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you if you do that, with this, with that. He left me crying. I couldn't beat him, but I'm going to tell you why I couldn't beat him. I'm going to show you. I, I, can't, I don't think I can say it on the internet. Uh, if I say it on the internet, it... He's gonna probably see it and he's gonna get really offended. So I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna say something. He's he's been suffering. And so I was uh I was I was crying. I went home. I told my grandma about it. And I went outside with her to go shopping. She said if we see him, he'll talk to her. But we were just going shopping. He wasn't there for me. Uh, and then a couple of weeks more ago, it was past days before that happened, and I was in class and. I went home, I grabbed my phone, I took his number cut by a friend, and started cyberbullying him. I started saying, you're a bitch, you're a, an asshole, you're a piece of shit, you're mean to everyone. It's true, he is a piece of shit. He deserves a fucking punch in the face. I don't care how much he suffered. Just because you uh, uh, fell off a fucking cliff, and you're and everybody felt bad for you, doesn't mean that in fact before when you were alive, you were a very mean fucking person. You fucked everybody, you raped everybody. That's what I'm talking about. That is one piece of shit, okay? This, this is how big this shit he is. This is what I'm gonna cover my ass. This is what, I, this is what I see every day. The stink of shit I smell every day. Right on his fucking face. I cyber bullied him. He then joined me in a group chat with a whole class to fucking cyber bully me. I... We were explaining why I was cyberbullying him, and I said for all these reasons. Then Alejandro, for fucking some reason, he joins him and starts roasting me, which doesn't really much offend me, but it does fucking annoy me that he starts saying I'm a fucking baby, okay? And I said the next time you fucking talk shit about me, I'll fucking laugh about your girlfriend. He got really offended, okay? He got really offended because his girlfriend, he sucks on his dick every fucking morning, um, you know, it's offensive, it's offensive. It even offends me when you start bullying. So, a uh, whole group chat starts making fun of me. I cried and cried and cried. I was in my room till 1 a.m. crying all the way to 6 o'clock in the night. Awake. Suffering. Bully. We fucking called the cops for bullying. Okay, you can... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say... Because bullying can come real suicide to a fucking bunch of kids. I, for a fucking example, told him, I, I write to him in a fucking phone saying, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. I'm gonna bring some boxing gloves and beat this shit out of you. He says, he starts laughing. And I didn't go because I was suffering so much of his bitch group. His whole class hates me. My mom doesn't even fucking believe me. The whole class hates me. Every fucking person doesn't understand what I say when I speak my own fucking language, okay? I don't even, barely, I barely even fucking know. I'm saying fuck so many times. I just can't. I'm not that way. I 
didn't go. He sent me a message. He says he starts laughing, saying that I'm scared of him because I didn't go to the school. Listen the fuck up. You, if I wasn't crying in the fucking first place of you making fun of me, I would get in there and stab you with this fucking pest. I'm gonna shove this up your ass, punch you fucking ten times in the fucking face, and leave you down in the fucking ground. Okay. He says that he fucking trains. Okay. And the fucking 100% he has is this of strength. Me, this of strength. The fuck is he gonna do? He's a pussy, okay? I'm gonna tell you why I couldn't beat the fuck out of him. My mom told me, Savity, I understand that you got bullied and all, but just so things don't get worse and people don't make fun of you more, don't fucking mess with him. I can fucking mess with him if I fucking want to. He fucking messed with me. He decided to fucking bully me every fucking day because some fucking writing on some computer game, whatever. The teachers didn't give a shit those times, that's what the teacher. I didn't know what I was crying about, I was having a fucking panic. He tried to calm me down. I tried, I didn't tell him the point, I just, my brain blocked me, it didn't let me tell him. If I told him he would understand me. I think at the same time, the teachers don't give two dicks about me. It just gives a fuck about anyone else, okay? Um, my teacher doesn't give a shit. My English teacher is a dick prostitute. I'm gonna tell you, that girl is a prostitute. The, I, why? I'm gonna tell you why she's a prostitute. The fucking internet. Because the fact that the English teacher, every, t every time I leave in my class, oh, well, she, she deserved it, because she, she got, she gave me a zero, okay, a five, and I was like perfectly good at English. I put on an exam. She she asked me personal fucking questions. Like if she was some bitch that comes for kids and rapes them. The fuck is wrong with you? She's trying to make me rape her actually. So what the fuck? I'm just saying it's not true. She I'm not saying she wants me to do that. I'm just saying. Uh but I write on that I she puts me some an exam saying, How old are you in English? Uh, what's your favorite do? What's your favorite do? Do you do exercise? And I put, she puts, uh, do you do exercise in the paper? It's an exam, it says it. And it says, more than you, that's for sure. That's what I put in an exam. And then the other one was a couple of questions. I put, fuck off, bitch, whore, nigga. Well, sorry, 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 I didn't mean to say that. I didn't say that. I didn't, that, was, that, that was not there. Oh, I should have said that. I should have said that. I'm sorry. I'm white. I'm white. She deserved it. I didn't see the envelope. She deserves those three fucking. I got four. I got. I told her bastard. I told her faggot. I told her everything. Uh, because she fucking deserved it, bro. Holy shit! Personal questions to a child. Personal questions to a child. One time, she didn't want to go to fucking high school. Okay, because she wanted to go to vacation to go to classes. The reality, she was just fucking smoking some marijuana. And uh, he was sucking on some dick while I, while we were there studying with some other prostitute teacher that came to class just to come with us for a couple of weeks. Fuck. And uh, thank God I'm in a new class now. They're pretty more violent than what that does. Uh, but one time a kid hold me on the neck and almost killed me. I, uh, I told the te I, I told the teacher, but she didn't give a shit either. Bro, I, I need to call the cops on these teachers. They're not giving 10 shits at all. They're not giving a fuck about what I'm saying to them. What I was going to say, uh, almost kills me. Another bitch today fucking starts fucking kicking me in the neck. I think that... People from my class, at those ages like mine, which I'm gonna be, I'm older than my whole entire class. Just two of us, or like three of us, or the four of us, are really just older than the whole class, because they're from the sixth of grade, and we're from the once of the high school. What was I gonna say? Uh, they're not allowed to learn martial arts if they don't have a good responsibility. A kid almost killed me of using Taekwondo, choking me in the neck. Another one kicking me. I told my mom about it. Don't think I'm just gonna be scared of some bitches. If I was fucking bigger than me, it's just I hate this life. I hate it. I don't hate my life. I don't want to kill myself. What the fuck? Who would do that? You know, alright, fuck you people that come from suicide. I don't give two fuck shit. 
Why won't you want to fucking do that? The only way to resolve it is you fucking beat the shit out of them. If it's four, five, six. If you're in the ground, the next time you grab a gun, gun, those BB guns that fucking hurt badly, that don't kill no one, bang, 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 and you're down. Don't call me crazy. The people deserve lots of fun. And the parents don't give a fuck, neither. In fact, in fact, the one who bullied me, he even joined his parents in a WhatsApp, and his brother, who is also a dickhead. Alright. I feel like Zach is just jealous because I'm a real boy, and he's not. I just said it. I just said it. You know what that means. T-R-A-N-S. Sexual. So. He's basically not a girl. He was also, so he used to be a girl, but now he's a boy. Guys. Guys. I'm telling you this personal. Do not tell this to fucking no one. Alright, what I'm saying about this boy. He's a, he is a whore. He's a whore, son of a bitch. But that's what made him in the first place insult everybody he fucking sees. So you're just gonna make it even worse for him to fucking know. I don't fucking care what my mom says. Don't say it to anyone. I'm saying to the fucking internet what I'm actually fucking feel about being in a fucking high school. That I've been making videos every single motherfucking day. I'm not telling you guys a single shit. But six months ago I did make a video about the tank and how to handle. But I told you what actually happened. Thank God I'm telling it to you guys right now. Because that's a whole two fat balls of mine with hair on it. That fucking hold all this shit around me. And thank God I'm in a new class. This is a bit worse, sir, and he's, he doesn't choke me anymore, he doesn't do that, because I told the teacher, and I don't know why he's not in fucking jail, and, yeah. So, for the people that are bitches, and choke on your friends, and think it's a joke, it's not. You know what, it really is a joke? Fuck you people, fuck you fans, the fans that kill their friends, or the fans that kill their friends for is a joke. Fuck you, fans that kill their friends. I'll do this to you and shove it up your ass. It, it, it's, I know it's just rude to be mean to your fans, but what if my fans did something really violent that actually didn't have a point to do it? Hmm? Didn't have a point to, you know, beat the fuck out of someone and just go, yeah, woo! And you know what's worse, sir? It's not everyone gives a shit about kids smoking. But they say that it's not their fault because they don't know. Well, don't fucking let your kid go outside and let her go inside. Because I smoke and my mom knows and she lets me go outside. But that doesn't mean the fact that I have to smoke a cigarette when I'm outside. Because I don't smoke cigarettes, I smoke achievements and vapes. Fuck you. And Scotland, England, uh, all those countries, you don't let 14-year-olds smoke, right? Or maybe you do. Here in Spain, no. Because it's a place of vacation. And no one gives 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bitch dicks sucking motherfucker prostitutes a shit about nothing. So guys, I'm going to end this video, and I don't think you're going to learn anything of this, because everybody thinks I'm a one who disagrees, everybody disagrees with me, but I have the point, because they think I don't have the point because they're mad that it's the truth, so that's the problem. So I, it's not my fault it's the truth, the truth is it's the truth. Sack, if you don't see this video and I told the fucking internet about it, fuck yourself, you bullied me, you deserved it. Uh, yeah. He's Spanish. And the people from English know this. Fuck's sake, it was not Spanish. I had to tell them. I had to. I had to say it. I had to say how I feel. I If you get bullied, you deserve, he deserves it. It's what there is. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go downstairs and eat myself some chocolate cookies. Uh, later, I'm going to be doing a video about my past lives on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. About how my voice actually changed. Remember I had a sore throat? Weeks has passed, months has passed, but more has changed. Uh, see how it changes? Uh, before I had it like, eh, more like more like a squeak noise. Trust me, I'm going to make a video about my voice before and now. Wait, first before I end this video? Oh, yeah!